Synthetic diamonds, good or bad? The good of synthetic diamonds. Diamonds can be used for a multitude of purposes, from tools because of its durability to medicine as nanodiamonds because they've been proved to be an indicator of the effectiveness of cancer treatment. Not allowing diamonds to be synthetically produced would be lessening the growth of the world. For example, aluminum used to be worth more than gold and platinum, but now it's so common that we don't even think about it. Overall, the making of synthetic diamonds should be allowed and grow because of all the benefits that it provides. Uses of diamonds. Engraving. Diamonds are ranked a 10 on the most hardness scale, allowing for it to engrave easily, efficiently, and effectively on any other material, including other diamonds. Tools. Industrial diamonds do not have the quality to become gemstones, but are able to cut, drill, polish, and be used in the mining industry. Also, they are commonly used in the military. Small bits of diamonds are embedded into tools like saws, allowing for cutting to be much easier. Eyesight. There is research being conducted to see if diamonds can help people who are visually impaired and seeing if diamonds are able to create bionic eyes or eye implants. This would improve the lives of a ton of people. Technology. Diamonds burn at 1,562 degrees Fahrenheit, making them able to sustain very high temperatures. If diamonds were used in technology like phones or laptops, they would be able to have an improved performance and last much longer. Lab grown versus mined. While mined diamonds will continue to be of more value than synthetic diamonds are, and there are arguments about how lab created diamonds are bad for the environment, there are more reasons as to why they are good. Synthetic diamonds are cheaper to make, allowing for them to be used in a number of things. Today, it costs $300 to $500 per carat to produce a CBD lab-grown diamond compared to $4,000 per carat in 2008. As we continue to create more diamonds, we can find more benefits from them that could be life-changing, like using diamonds for windows for space technology, or it could save a life with the helping of cancer treatment. Diamond companies wouldn't support or synthetic diamonds as they are the ones who will lose business as lab-grown diamonds become more and more common. From scarcity to abundance. Aluminum was so difficult to extract from bauxite that it was it became one of the most precious metals. Aluminum was made strong enough for structural use by creating an alloy with, alloy with 4% copper following the steps of quench hardening and saw no improvement. When the scientists doing this came back to the alloy a few days later, it grew stronger because an aluminum pattern changed as the copper atoms created an internal strain. This led to the creation of the world's first all-metal aircraft that transformed our world. As synthetic diamonds continue to be more researched, more information will be able to come through and show how influential it could be. They are produced by high pressure and high temperature method with three main press designs that are used. They can weigh hundreds of tons and create a pressure of 5 GPA at 2732 degrees Fahrenheit. There are also other ways to creating synthetic diamonds that are being found. Effects of mined diamonds. Diamond mining is a source of poverty for communities that are mining for them. Blood diamonds means that they are illegally sold in order to finance for things as terrible as war and terrorism, causing hurt to the people forced to mine for them. Not only were people getting hurt by diamonds, but mining for diamonds can cause deforestation, respiratory diseases, and water pollution. Saying that diamonds are rare is a myth created by De Beers that controlled most of the world's diamond production. It is no longer profitable to continue to dig, and we need to find other ways to create diamonds. Properties of diamonds. Diamonds are created in the Earth's mantle under tons of pressure, then come to the Earth's surface or higher up through volcanoes.
Diamonds have a high density, high strength, hardness scale of 10, high thermal conductivity, high electrical resistance, resistant to chemical corrosion, and can easily conduct heat. All of these factors show how helpful diamonds can be for a series of things and overall why synthetic diamonds should continue to be produced.